Welcome to Dina and Mina show with another digital health update. And today our guest is Maria Hagland, Director of Studies of Global Master Program in Health Informatics at Karolinska Institute, Senior Researcher and PhD whose research areas are focused on usability of e-health services and elderly care. Welcome Maria. Thank you very much. So Maria, how would you define digital health? Well, I usually don't actually use the term digital health that often yeah. myself, but if I were to uh, define it, I would probably uh, think about it in quite broad terms. So I would probably define digital health as um, using digital tools or IT to promote, restore and maintain good health. Um, so it could be anything. It could be from what we're using in our smartphones to stay fit and mm -hmm. healthy to what quite complex um, electronic health record tools or computerized decision support systems or telemedicine tools used in advanced healthcare. So I think it's a, it's a very broad term, digital mm -hmm. health. And on behalf of all entrepreneurial community, I have to ask you, we now see a lot of focus on fitness and body tracking, but in your opinion, what are the areas that need more attention now? Well, I... I like to think about it. I, I, I used to draw a number of circles where I think about sort of healthcare, mm -hmm. self care, mm -hmm. and social care. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that we have very good tools within each of these circles, maybe not as much in social care informatics if we think about elderly care, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, there I think we need a lot more work. Uh, but within healthcare, there's a lot of, of good usage of IT to improve uh, work practices and to improve how you actually deliver good healthcare. Mm -hmm. As you say, there's an explosion, explosion. of yes, good yeah. tools, more, well, <laughs> a broad range of quality, of course, but an mm -hmm. explosion of tools for self care as well. But I think in the intersections between these circles, mm -hmm. where healthcare and self care are mm -hmm. supposed to meet, mm -hmm. there we don't really see. Uh, those kinds of, of tools mm -hmm. in, in a very big number yet. So I think that's where we, we need to improve a lot. Intersection. Mm, the okay. intersections, mm -hmm. yes. So if we look at the broad perspective uh, of digital health, what, what challenges do you see when it comes to digital health services? Well, I think that one, one of the reasons why we don't see that many tools yet mm -hmm. within these intersections is because that is where the challenges are. We have challenges of interoperability, of actually having access to information between these sectors. Um, we also have, there's challenges when it comes to um, legal issues, what we're actually allowed to share and what, how we're allowed to collaborate. Uh, of course, we have more social, we often talk about socio-technical mm -hmm. design in my field yeah. of research, where we look at both the design of the technical tools, but also of the organization and the social context where these tools are to be mm -hmm. implemented. And I think that as long as we're sort of keeping within one sector, it's more or less fine. But when we start to go mm -hmm. over, we have different legislations, we have different organizations, we have different business models, and that's where the big challenges are, I think. So. You're addressing this challenge, but in your opinion, what are the measures that can make this kind of services in intersection more user-friendly? Well, I think that now that you bring up usability, which is <laughs> one of my, uh, my main research areas, and I think that we see different problems within these different sectors when it comes to usability issues as well. Uh, and I was involved in a project almost two years ago now, looking at the usability of e-health in Sweden, uh -huh. but more focusing on the, the tools that are used by healthcare professionals or within the healthcare sector where usability is a really big issue. Uh, and I think that one of the reasons why this is, is because we have a, still a lack of user involvement okay. in the design of these tools. Mm -hmm. What we also have is a lack of continuous evaluations. We call them formative evaluations mm -hmm. during the design, but also once the systems are implemented in this complex socio-technical mm -hmm. environment that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We don't really follow up and see, well, what happens when we start using these tools? How do they affect uh, relationships and roles and responsibilities? And, and that's where I think that the main issues occur. So we need users to be involved more. More users and more, um, more knowledge and competency when mm -hmm. it comes to evaluations, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you are a researcher. And um, 
How do you see your role as a researcher, or in general, the role of research to develop and support the current services? Well, I think that there is a lot of, I mean, not just in my research field, which is in health informatics, but in many of the research fields next to it as well, looking at, for example, usability issues. There's so much knowledge, there's so much competency within the research field about how we know how to do this in a good way, but still it doesn't really, um, it's not really applied in the, in the actual work process when we're doing this in real life. And I think that's one area where, you know, use the knowledge that is in the research field. And I also think that researchers working a lot with more longitudinal studies, mm -hmm. long-term evaluations, bring in theory from, you know, behavioral medicine, mm -hmm. for example. There's so much knowledge that can be used and applied in these fields. And I think that a closer collaboration between entrepreneurs or the ones designing the tools, mm -hmm. the ones with all the great ideas and the researchers who have the more theoretical knowledge about how this could have a, you know, sustainable long-term mm -hmm. impact. I think that's, that's a... That would be great. <laughs> so more entrepreneurs to close the gap between research and real life. I think that, yeah, and, and especially, you know, bring them together. Yeah, Not yes. just more entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs collaborating with yes. researchers. Yes, I think that would be great. That's great. I hope we will address this issue also during Digital Health Days conference in September. And so far, thank you, Maria, for coming here. And Thanks a lot. we see you in the next Digital Health Days video. See you.